So we are ready to go, waiting for this furnace to call for heat. We're going to see how long this thing's going to run with one watt cycle, 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. Okay, one hour and two minutes into the test. The furnace, I believe, has cycled five, maybe six times in the last hour. Here is where we are in regards to our voltage and amperage. The, the battery is still at 12.6 volts. The uh, AC output on the inverter is still pumping at 112, 113 volts. AC amperage is still coming in at about well, it's five amps, a little over five amps right now because the furnace is currently cooling down. It's just a blower now. And the DC amperage has been running at right about seven to eight amps. The uh, inverter fan is currently running, cooling down the, uh, the MOSFETs uh, inside the uh, inverter. And now we are into our number two to see how long this battery can run this furnace, which is an older furnace. Hour number two, here we go. About two hours into this test, I've lost count on the number of times the furnace has cycled, but it has reliably. And as you can see here, still after two hours, the uh, voltage on the DC side off of this 12 volt 100 amp hour battery is 3.9 volts. The AC side of the inverter going to the furnace is at 16.7 volts. Amperage off of the battery at the top there on that meter, 1.5 amps. And that's only because the inverter fan is running right now to cool down the inside. And the amps on the AC side is 0 0.08 amps because the furnace is currently in standby waiting for the thermostat to call for heat. So, very robust system still, even two hours into it, and the battery, according to the inverter, isn't even off of the first light on the right. So, it, the inverter thinks there's still 14 volts coming off of this battery, which, if you look at the meter, 13.7 volts, yeah, round up to 14 volts, why not? <laughs> But yeah, here we are two hours into it and we, ha we haven't even gotten close to depleting the cells. So we're going to continue to let this run until the battery is depleted to get a total number of hours that this furnace has ran off of this battery. More to come. Welcome to hour number two on our test to determine how long I can run my old furnace using one 12 volt 100 amp hour battery from watt cycle and my 2000 watt converter. The furnace just called for heat. Here we go on hour number two. Or actually, this is the beginning of hour number three. Here we go.
we are at the end of our number three of many 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 cycles I've lost count we still have 12.6 volts left on the battery with the blower running just a blower running and burning the gas we're drawing 10 amps or 12 amps out of the battery itself the inverter the 2000 watt inverter is still pushing 113.5 volts under load and it's still drawing 6.1 6.2 amps on the AC side the DC input level on this inverter now shows four bars remaining out of five so it does show a little bit of a depletion however it is under load when the uh, when the furnace is idle this comes back up to five bars and then you can see right now there is a load because the furnace is running of about 20 to 30 percent of the load capable of this inverter is still is uh, being consumed right now plenty of overhead left to continue loading down this inverter if we had to but as of right now we are going into hour number four and we still have plenty of juice left on this battery to keep this furnace running and to keep this house warm and to keep my family warm in the event of a power outage in the winter time here we go, hour number four. Almost at the end of this test. Near the end of this test, going by the numbers I'm seeing here. So if you look at the, uh, the voltmeter in front of the battery, I have a little bit over 12 volts left. The meter on the inverter shows three bars now it was just two a second ago at one point the voltmeter was showing under 12 watt or 12 volts just a few minutes ago when the, when the blower was running so we're almost depleted on this battery now that being said on the watt meter here I have consumed 1.15 kilowatt hours which is pretty close to the capacity of this battery the capacity of the battery should be 1270 uh, watt hours um, and I have consumed 1150 watt hours so we're almost out of juice so I have consumed 1.15 kilowatt hours in 4 hours and 16 minutes that seems like a good number let me know down in the comments below what you guys think and if you like this type of content make sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below on what you would like to see if you or if you have any questions or insights for the form or for the audience to look at if you have suggestions or recommendations or if you're seeking for suggestions or recommendations on your emergency preparedness uh, service for electricity in case of a power outage particularly in the winter time obviously you know this can be used year-round based off of power outages now of course I can extend this battery further by obtaining additional 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries run them in parallel with this particular battery to extend the capacity of a battery bank this is just for an emergency one battery one inverter and four hours a little bit over four hours by the time everything is done then it'll probably be about four and a half hours or the uh, inverter alerts me that the battery voltage is too low definitely a option to be prepared for whatever life throws at you as we continue to be stacking our preparedness on this channel have a wonderful day we'll see you on the next video